welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about Zimetra reader now if you see the Apple's recommendation what it says that it's a container view that defines its content as a function of its own size and coordinate space okay in simple terms I can say that you can use Zimetra reader when you want to know that what is your parent size for example let's say that in this code when you're writing this vstat this image and this text doesn't know that what is the size of this vstat so based on the scenario based on the requirement the parent provides the size to his child okay so in this case the swift ui how it behaves is little different compared to what you know it was happening in the ui kit like in the ui kit we used to have frame bound where we can at any point of time i can know that what is the frame and what is the bound of my parent and any other object okay but in swift ui for getting that value we have to use something which is geometry reader okay now talking more about geometry readers that is that in most of the cases first thing is that you don't require geometry reader because you don't know need to know that what is the parent size because i i'm always i can always use frame to define the size of my child element okay but there are some times where you want to you know like uh, deal with more custom ui or more complex ui and in that case you want to know what is the parent size or what is the size that you you are available with okay now in that case we can use this symmetry reader easily to solve this problem okay now let's see a simple scenario that where i have the options that i can go with geometry reader or i can i can go without geometry reader now personally i will say that if you can go without geometry reader it's always good to go without geometry reader because if you use too many geometry reader then the thing is that geometry reader takes more time for you no know, computation because uh, with geometry reader you also get extra functionality like let's say that if you have to support for both portrait and landscape mode so if you rotate your phone the geometry reader will automatically calculates the new size and based on that size it will give the size to the child element okay so let's first take a simple scenario where i'll show you that i can do the same thing with and without geometry reader okay so this is a very common example that you know, you'll find it on almost all the places So let's see this code. So what basically I'm trying to do that I have a G stack and uh, let's also give this uh, inside this G stack what I'm doing I'm taking a V stack okay. Now for this V stack what we can do we can give uh, the frame also so that it makes sure that it's occupying the whole region. So I'll just give frame minimum width as 0 and max width as infinity and similarly minimum height as 0 and uh, max height as infinity okay now in this case if you see that without g stack i am able to determine the the size of my child based on my parent size now in this case but one thing what yeah you have to notice that this ui screen dot main dot bounds dot size will always returns to you parent size right let's say that for example if i have to give this rectangle size based on my h stack size i cannot use this uh, 
factor because this will always return me my whole uh, view size so in any scenario if you have to give something with respect to the parent super view in that case it's very easy that you can take this ui screen dot main stop ball no need of taking any geometry data. but let's say that if you have a child element something like this h stack now in this h stack let's say that or for example in this h stack you if you see you have two rectangle now let's Im imagine that i have to give this rectangle and this rectangle size compared to this h stack size that i cannot do without a geometry reader okay now if you see this application right now it looks something or it was looking here and if i rotate it then what will happen that you see that everything get distorted right now in this case what happens you are just seeing this middle part the, the top part and this below red part that is not visible because it is just going out of the bond okay so when you are rotating this screen your views are not getting again realigned based on what the child is okay but in most of the case, cases if you see that uh, we, we don't build application which support both portrait and landscape mode okay. so now let's instead of using this uh, ui screen dot main dot bonds or size now let's do this with the help of geometry reader okay now what i will do before this v stack i will take a geometry reader component okay so i'll go here and introduce geometry reader and this will have a variable called geometry uh, proxy basically okay so it will have something called or we can write g in okay now this whole thing will i will be wrapping up inside my geometry reader okay and this frame also now i'll give it to geometry reader not to my v stack so let me go up and put everything inside this geometry reader okay now till now i have not used this geometry proxy variable which contains the information about the size of my parent so now what i will do instead of giving this uh, using you know ui screen dot means dot bond dot size let's see that if i can give it respect to uh, my geometry proxy okay so zero dot and you have size and i can give dot within the scenario okay so let's go ahead and uh, replace Okay, so now what I have done, I replace all my UI screen dot means dot bound with this geometry proxy that I am receiving. Okay, so when you run this application, what you see, you see the same output what we were getting earlier, and there are some margins which you can see on the top and the bottom, and that is basically due to this uh, geometry proxy. Now, if you go inside the geometry proxy, it have this safe area in a sense okay so the safe area instance are like one of the property that are exposed through the geometry pro proxy okay now in this case what happens if i rotate my screen now if you see that when you rotate your screen the child's are automatically placed or automatically resized based on the new height see what we were doing we we're do giving the height and the width based on the frame size now in this case when the the screen is landscape so we have more width and less height so the height by 4 you can see that it has become smaller compared to what we had in the portrait mode so that's one extra advantage that you get using geometry reader that it based on the screen orientation it accommodate itself so many times like you know we might feel that what should be the base uh, uh, container when you are designing a, a, a swift ui view it's it always be geometry reader the answer is no you always go with your basics what you are using g stack and v stack until unless you don't require the geometry reader just don't use it and you can use the geometry reader at any stage of your application it's not like that you have to use only at the base level
okay now let's see uh, another example which is more uh, popular is that how we can use geometry reader to achieve a uh, scrolling animation in swift ui okay so let me go ahead and then write the code for that Okay, so if you see this uh, sample, so what I have done basically is that I have created a, a view where I have taken a G star just to show this background image, uh, which is my uh, one of the assets which is seen, and then inside that I have taken a V star where I have a scroll view, and then I have a H stack inside that one stack I am using a for loop. And inside that, I have a geometry reader which contain a V stack with an image of a girl. Okay, and then I'm giving the frame as 300 and 300 uh, to this geometry reader. Okay, now let's run and see how it appears on the screen. So here is our app. Okay, so if you see that, I have a smooth horizontal scrolling with the girl's images. Okay, so now what? Let me do that instead of having this uh, spacing as 0, let's see have a spacing of 20 or let's say 10. So now you can see that I have uh, some spacing, I think 20 will make more look more good. Okay. So now let's have some sort of animation in this uh, horizontal scrolling that we have okay and for that what we're going to use we're going to use the rotational 3d effect and that we'll be writing over our this v stack inside the geometry reader okay so this will have basically a rotation 3d effect and if you see that we have to pass angle and the axis okay and axis is very simple we have to pass the axis because it's a horizontal animation so let's pass the axis x as a, let me just write x as 0 and then y value will be 1 and z will be again 0 now this angle is something which we need to calculate and here is something where you know, we need some sort of mathematics let's say for example i just say i just pass some angle here angle and then I pass degree value as 20 and see how it looks so it gives some effect but doesn't look that great okay so this angle value is something what you have to calculate maybe it, it can now require some sort of trial and error so here in this case what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove it and then use dot degree because we need to pass the angle degree and then here I'm going to use the geometry proxy object that I'm getting from this so I will be using dot zero minus dot frame and this will be in the global coordinate system and then we have to take dot minimum of x and this let's divide it by 5 and see how it looks so again not looking that much great let just try to decrease the angle so instead of 5 let's take 7 so looking a little better ok 
can I even get try to take 8 instead of 7. And now see it looks great with a horizontal animation you can use it with some kind of card animation into your project okay so that's all about uh, the geometry reader so that's all for today's video hope you like it thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe the channel thank you